Yule came were a sign that spring had arrived, bringing a source of fresh food for the Heisla people after a long winter. That's why they were called the Savior Fish. Ula can live in salt water, but spawn in fresh water and migrate to some of the major river systems, including the Kamano and the Kitlo. Ula can also ran in the Kenemat River until the industrial pollution ended their annual run. They spawn in early spring every year. Traditionally, Ulican were caught using conical shaped nets made from stinging nettle, which were placed on permanent poles in the river at the beginning of the season. More recently, nets are made from twine. Once the fish were in the river and the nets were full, fishermen used hooks to transfer their catch to canoes. When the canoes were full, the fishermen head back to the Sumgas, the Ulican camp. Once they were back at the Samgas, the Heisla people would shovel the Ulukin into ripening bins, where they would be left to ferment for three to five days, depending on the weather. Once ripened, the fish would be transferred into boiling vessels. These vessels were traditionally made from cedar. Modern boiling vessels are typically made from metal. To process the fish, the Heisla would build a fire under the boiling vessel. This meant the vessel would need to be waterlogged to prevent burning. The vessels were weighted down in the river when not in use to absorb water and prevent it from burning during the boiling process. The Ulican fish were placed in the vessels, covered with water, and boiled. Once they were falling apart, stirrers and mashers were used to separate the meat from the bone from the oil. The meat and the bone would sink to the bottom while the oil would rise to the top. It was skimmed and prepared for storage by dropping hot rocks in to burn off impurities. The oil was then stored in containers in a cool, dry place. Ulican oil would be used continuously until the year's supply ran out. It is one of the few sources of fat in the traditional Heisla diet, rich in omega-3 and many other important vitamins, and has many uses. The Heisla people cook with it, dip dried salmon into it, pour it over dried seaweed, and even use it for medicinal purposes. Ulican oil is very versatile and is also known by the name Heisla Gold because of its pure qualities due to the hot rock purifying process. Traditionally, it was very valuable and was traded with other First Nations as an important resource.